Jared Poland Fronos Photo dot com and this is your Kansas City Chiefs have won Super Bowl 56 Photo News Fix This fix is brought to you by Wirestock which is still the easiest way to sell your photos, videos and vectors online. It's simple. You upload your photos or videos to Wirestock, they tag and keyword them for you and then distribute them for sale on the largest stock websites like Shutterstock, Adobe Stock, Pond5 as well as Getty Images and iStock Photo. When you sell something, Wirestock takes 15% and you get the rest. So far out of the 4000 people who have signed up with my link, they've had 70,000 downloads and generated over 30,000 dollars in sales to sign up for free right now head on over to bit.ly slash wirefro69 nice first up getty images has decided to sue stable diffusion for get this one million dollars maybe ask for more than a million dollars. Actually, they've decided to sue them for $1.8 trillion. Damn! Damn! For those of you who have been under a rock for the last few months, Stable Diffusion is a machine learning model that converts text into realistic high resolution images. Basically, it's AI, AKA the latest bandwagon term that follows up last year's now out of favor hot trends of Web 3.0 and crypto. Stable Diffusion can't just magically create images out of thin air. They've had to feed and train it with images, and that's why Getty is suing them. Getty is claiming that Stable Diffusion has stolen over 12 million of its copywritten images, and at $150,000 per infringement, they get their $1.8 trillion ask. Now, I think I know what's going on here. Getty is upset that they didn't come up with their own AI image generator first, and is now afraid that their business will be hurt. I hurt myself today. Here's what they should do. Maybe they should just offer to drop the case if Stable Diffusion decides to give them all of their IP. But here's the rub. I'm not sure Getty can prove their images were actually used. Now, as you know, I don't own a Leica, which means I'm not actually a lawyer, but if we look at exhibit one, which was generated by Stable Diffusion, there's no way you can tell definitively that Stable Diffusion stole from Getty. None, zero. Zilch. I mean, it looks more like Betty images, which of course is not Getty images. Now, I have no idea how this will turn out for either of them. What I do know is it's probably going to take years to get a resolution. Get it? Oh, I get it. It's very clever. Resolution. How's it working out for you? Next up, move over Peter Hurley. Shabang! There's a new headshot studio in a box trying to replace you and all portrait photographers. Introducing Lilo Photo. Take a perfect photo. A new type of photography studio captures your life in artistic portrait shots. Now that's really what their website says. Let's hope their product is far better than their marketing because it sounds like they fed the AI a concept and that horrible sentence is what it spit out. Anyway, the actual design of the booth itself looks really nice. Think of the Lilo as a modern day photo booth at the mall. They say the unique studio atmosphere and automated process will allow you to create professional photos in just five minutes. Lilo Photo gives you the chance to capture your genuine look and reveal your nature in a photo. And no photographer, no stress, just you, camera, light, and amazing portraits as a result. I guess they wanted to do away with the GWCs hitting on their models. He is calling you dude. Regardless of their gender. How it works is you step inside for a session, giggity, giggity. select the desired lighting, take up to 20 images, stick around, edit them on the screen, and select one to print with a professional photo printer. And the same image will be emailed to you just for 90 $19.90. Now, if you want to buy more, you can pay for more. But I love how they toss in their professional printer and professional cameras and lighting. Nonetheless, they've partnered with Simon Property Group to roll these out in malls around the country. I'm sure someone will use this, but this will not be replacing a professional photographer anytime soon. Now, what's next? An OnlyFans booth? Because sign me up. Speaking of OnlyFans, are you one of our OnlyFans who listen to Frono's Photo Raw Talk podcast that comes out every Friday? No. Well, if you're one of those, then please leave a comment down below on why someone who hasn't checked it out should. 
Next up, last week, Sigma announced a 51.4 DGDN for Sony E-mount, as well as the L-mount alliance, blah, 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 blah. And this week, we have a leaked image of what looks to be a new Sony G Master 51.4. It's kind of interesting timing for one to come out and then another come out around the same time. Now, there were no confirmed specs, but the rumor says that this lens should be announced on the 21st of February. If this is a real lens, I will try to get my hands on one and do a comparison against the new Sigma as soon as I can. And finally, the Canon R8 is so popular. The Canon has just apologized that they've received more orders than expected, blah, blah, blah. And due to the ongoing blah, 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 and blah, 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 you might have to wait a long time to get one. Also on the apology list is the R6 Mark II, R7, 13518, 402.8, and a few more items. This seems to be par for the course these days. Are you too good for your home? But does it mean that the R50 didn't pre-sell well enough to make this list? Or is this list just a joke at this point. There you have it. That's your photo news fix this time around. To check out the last fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. That's where I'm going to leave it. Jared, PolinFronosPhoto.com. See ya.